This video is going to be just a very quick tip about cleaning up surface meshes. For some reason, I got a really rough looking topology on this model. As you can see, it looks a little bit faceted, even though in surface mode, it smooths the normals. Unlike voxel mode, where you import a low polygon object, you may have to smooth it quite a few times to get rid of the faceting. But in surface mode, normally you shouldn't see this. But to clean this up, including little small holes like this, what we can do is voxelize the object and get right back into surface mode by hitting the Enter key. This is the equivalent of using DynaMesh in ZBrush. So let me do that now. I'll just hit the Enter key, and it's going to ask for an estimated poly count. It usually will go above your current poly count that you see here at the bottom. I hit OK, and it cleans it right up. It even smooths it out quite a bit. So let me zoom in and I'll turn wireframe on. Everything's nice and uniform. So if you had some dynamic tessellation on your model and you wanted to make sure you kept all the details, you would probably want to bump your estimated poly count during that process well above that to compensate for the details that you have. Let me turn wireframe back off. I'm going to undo that operation, and I also want to show that if you, for some reason, happen to get any little small holes or tears, there are a number of different countermeasures that you can use. For one thing, you have some tools that are dedicated for that in the adjust section of the tool panel. Paint hole, close hole, uh, fill holes, and you also happen to have reconstruct. So if you have a really bad section of your model, maybe some self-intersection or something, you can reconstruct it completely. But a few options that you have here in the Shift and Control Shift menus can clean these up while smoothing. Tangent smoothing is a really nice one because it's not going to disturb the overall shape of the surface. It's just going to reorder the topology underneath your brush. Powerful smoothing does something similar. It's almost like using remove stretching but smoothing at the same time. So it's optimizing your mesh or decimating it right beneath your brush. But the amount of smoothing it applies may be too aggressive for this purpose. Let's use tangent smoothing. I'll hold down the Control Shift key and it just quickly fixes those. So to conclude, use tangent smooth for small holes or irregularities, powerful smooth if that doesn't quite work, and then the Enter key to remesh the entire model. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.